All right, this is Barton George. I'm here at Austin Cloud Camp with Dustin Kirkland. Dustin, how are you? Good, thank you. Excellent. So uh, tell me what you do and uh, who you work for and, and all that good stuff. Sure. So I'm a, a server developer on uh, the Ubuntu server for Canonical, um, working on various aspects of virtualization, the, the plumbing layer below cloud computing. And so you guys just had your release last week, or this this past week, I should say. Two days uh, ago. Okay, cool. So what were you actually working on in, in that? John T. Jackalope, cool. I had three main responsibilities. Uh, I implemented uh, encrypted home directories in Ubuntu, which is pretty cool. Um, another program called Screen Profiles. It, it's a, basically a fancy command line window manager for uh, servers, uh, as well as KVM, the kernel virtual machine, the, like I said, the plumbing layer that uh, does the virtualization that cloud computing uses. Cool, and so now that was your first foray, meaning you meeting Canonical slash Ubuntu into the cloud. You guys are now going to Karmic Koala. What all are you gonna be working on for that? Right, so for Karmic Koala, uh, we're focusing on a, a key uh, package called Eucalyptus. Um, notes uh, the, the, su the not so subtle reference, Karmic Koala Eucalyptus. Uh, Eucalyptus is an open source project from the University of California, Santa Barbara, uh, that actually implements cloud computing um, as Amazon EC2 has defined it in such a way that you can deploy your own EC2 compatible cloud inside of your own data center on top of Ubuntu um, and actually migrate your images and workloads among or between your private cloud and the public Amazon EC2 cloud. Oh, very cool. So, and what role are you going to be playing in that? Well, um, so... Amazon itself um, and originally Eucalyptus used Zen as the hypervisor. Um, one of the first things we did when we started working with Eucalyptus is actually replaced the hypervisor or actually abstracted the, the hypervisor such that you could use um, KVM instead of Zen. And from a strategic perspective, uh, the Ubuntu server prefers KVM, the kernel virtual machine, as opposed to uh, Zen uh, as a hypervisor. So I'm, I'm personally working on um, basically making KVM as stable, secure, uh, featureful as, as possible. Cool. Yeah, that's right. I think it was a year ago that you guys made the decision to go with KVM. Uh, yeah, it was actually uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, okay. it's, it's a little over a year now. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So now, um, what do you think is the most cool thing about the whole cloud? Personally, what, what rocks your world? Uh, wow. Um, I, I like the green computing aspect of it, um, the, the ability to migrate workloads uh, from from an underutilized system to a system that, or fr from an overutilized system to an, uh, a one that has more capacity on it, consolidate the workloads, suspend power off uh, servers, bring them down to lower power states when they're not uh, in use. I, I think that that, uh, from a longer term perspective, is the, the most interesting thing about a cloud. And are you going to be involved in any of this bursting that goes on between the private and public cloud? Uh, maybe so. <laughs> Very cool. And what do you like most working about uh, working at Canonical on Ubuntu? Oh wow, uh, the Ubuntu community is phenomenal. Um, the the travel that we do, I'm sure it'll get old at some point, but it's it's really cool, you know, sort of traveling, seeing the world. Uh, we do sprints all over the world, pretty much all the time. I, I enjoy that. Cool, Dustin Kirkland. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bart. <laughs>